hello welcome back to my channel today we have another haul i probably shouldn't be doing but we're here anyway so i have if you haven't already guessed from the title a lovely asus order that i have already opened so the premise of this order was for dance auditions and like for general dance class wear because i have obviously quite a lot of dance clothes but we're starting to get more auditions so i need like nicer dance clothes not just black joggers and a t-shirt you know so yeah that's what we're dealing with i've spent about 70 pounds i think but i think i've got quite a lot for the amount I spent, if that makes sense. Um, I have the order off my phone, so I'm gonna tell you how much everything was as we go along. So I'm gonna, sorry, what's something in my eye? We're gonna go through the whole order first. I have had a little peek because I'd completely forgotten what I'd ordered. Um, and then I'm gonna do a try on at the end. That's the plan. So I'll try and make little outfits as well because I do have some trousers and some tops, so yeah you'll spot a theme as well because i was looking for like a certain style of trousers um which i did actually get some of somewhere else so i'm probably going to send all these back we're starting with a asos design petite lounge oversized jogger i did also get a couple of pairs of just like staple joggers um just because some of my old ones are like really old so these ones were £12.60 reduced from £18. Everything I bought was in sale. Sorry if the angle just changed. I had to delete things from my memory card because I'm that prepared. Let's carry on. So these are literally just plain, plain black joggers which are cuffed at the bottom, drawstring. Drawstring on the inside, that's a little bit rogue. Um, yeah, oversized black joggers. I probably will keep these because as a dance student, you can never have too many black joggers. I wanted some flared black trousers slash wide leg black trousers because I tried some on the other day and really liked how they fit me. And I don't normally wear anything but a skinny jogger or like cuffed at the bottom because I'm so short, but I'm pushing the boat out. These are actually very similar to ones I have, but they're petite because the ones I have from New Look, I think, um, are way too long for me because I'm short like I said so these ones well they're definitely see-through like I can see you guys through that but they do look a lot better in length so maybe these will be a keeper but not if they're see-through but these are ASOS design as well and they are also a size 8 I am an 8 to 10 and I literally just picked up whatever size they had left because obviously everything was in the sale so some of them like were out of stock. So I literally just got whatever size is there. These were 1280 reduced from 16 pounds. I have a feeling I'm gonna be sending those back already. I'm trying to keep everything with its original <laughs> packaging. It's stressing me out. Okay, these are, so we're mixing it up here. We've got some gray instead of black. These are the, so these are size 10. So obviously the size eight was sold out. Um, these are Grey Mile ASOS design again, but these are the Hourglass range, which I recently discovered and it's basically what I needed my entire, not childhood, from the age of like 13 I needed this range. Um, but it's basically just designed for people who have like an Hourglass figure, so I'm intrigued by that. Um, this is, so these are straight leg joggers again, so not cuffed at the bottom, which is a little bit rogue for me but we're gonna try it out. And these are not petite, so I feel like they're gonna be too long. And they are, they were only eight pounds, reduced from 20. So a bit of a bargain, but if they're too long, I will be sending them back. They have a super thick waistband as well, which I love. Drawstring on the outside this time. Um, yeah, they're actually really wide. I probably could have done with the size eight and they are definitely gonna be too long for me. My legs are not this long. This is from a brand called Love and Other Things and it's also a size 10. And I think it's a sports bra. Yeah, Jim Co Ward, one, short, one shoulder cups out top in lilac. This was 12 pounds, reduced from 25. Um, I don't know if my boobs are gonna like it. <laughs> Or if I'm going to be able to dance in it, so I might just send it back. But 
we'll have a look. This is the thing I like about ASOS. I just hit 10,000 steps. <laughs> um, I just hit 10,000 steps unwrapping the ASOS package. Um, I can't remember what I was saying. This is really cute, but yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to dance in it, so I might just send it back. But also it might just be like a nice little like co-ord top. I feel like my boobs might actually fit in this as well. We'll see, we'll try it on in a minute. Next up, we have the Flounce London Petite Basic High Waisted Wide Leg Trousers in black. See, this is the vibe I was going for. They were £12, reduced from 28 and these ones are a size 10. Okay, these are super soft. These are nicer than the ribbed ones. Oh, they are very see-through. I don't even have to, like, go this close. Like, you can see me through that, right? I think they're going to be sent back. They're so see-through. They're like those leggings you used to get from Primark when you were like 10 years old. They're even see-through with like both layers together. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but I can see the camera screen through that. So these are gonna be going back, but we'll try them on anyway. They're also quite long and I'm pretty sure I said they were petite, didn't I? Yeah, they seem quite long for petite. This is Flounce London as well, so the same brand as the, je the jeans, the trousers that I just got out, um, in size 10 again, and this is apparently a gym, a gym crop. <laughs> See how much this one was. Oh yeah, I remember. This one was only £5.50, again, got it in a size 10, and reduced from £24. Okay, it's literally just like a basic lycra kind of material but kind of shiny like a disco pant material if anyone knows what i mean by that and just crop i mean i definitely won't be wearing this as a sports bra but it might be quite nice like with a sports bra underneath then we have asos design again coming through with a halter neck crop top in black this one's a size 10 and it was 560 reduced from eight pound i don't think this can go wrong much it looks quite big for a size 10 i think i'm a size 8 now guys yeah that looks quite wide but we'll see and um, the problem i have with holding necks is normally that this bit is too long because i have like this the gap between like the top of my shoulders and my boobs is like no space at all so then this ends up being too long for me always but we'll see and then finally we have asos design again with the hourglass range and this is a plunge long sleeve multi tie in black. This one's a size eight and it was 11.20 reduced from 14 pounds. I really want this to be nice. It looks really nice on the model. Whether it will look like that on me, I don't know. Okay, yeah, you can't really tell when it's on, when it's off, but it has like these which like wrap around and it's long sleeve. It's really soft. I really like the fabric. So that is the end of the ASOS stuff. I'm going to show you one more top. So I got this from H&M last week and I put it on Instagram the other day and it went down very well. So I'll show you this on as well because this is like the kind of thing I was looking for for like probably not dance. I think a boob would definitely fall out. Um, but I love the colour. It's actually a bikini top. Um, I feel like the clasp is the only thing that gives it away. But I also got from H&M a pair of like wide leg joggers like I've been looking for and they are the perfect length. I would show you them but they're in the wash um, because I've already worn them like three times since I got them. But yeah, I got them both from H&M. This was £7 in the sale and yeah, I wore it out last week on Friday and I loved it. So I could wear this as a bikini as well to be fair, I just need to get some even black bottoms I guess which I do already have. But yeah, it's so cute, I'll show you it on. So I think I'm gonna adjust the camera angle a little bit and try all this on for you guys and we'll see what stitches, what I can send back. <laughs> okay, so outfit number one. I think I put the tripod too high. Hang on. Okay, that's a little bit better, kind of. Um, I love these trousers, like they're not too long. They are a bit long, but obviously I don't have shoes on. So once I have my trainers on, they have the deepest pockets and the waistband is just so nice and the top i don't know if i'd be able to dance in this we'll have to test that but i think it is really cute um 
it's a, I think I could have done with the size 8 to be honest but as like a normal top I think I quite like it I don't think it's that supportive as a gym top but I wasn't really expecting it to be but other than that I like it I think it's a vibe and these joggers are so comfy I'm definitely gonna keep these because I don't have any grey joggers and to be honest that's because I'm a bit of a sweaty person so grey joggers don't usually end well but I feel like there's a select amount of things that I can wear these for and also who even cares about sweat patches because not me okay this top is a no my boobs are not designed for this I don't know whose are but they're not mine um I'm literally gonna flash but yeah this is there's just so much material here that it's so capey that my boobs would literally be on the floor um but do you see the vibe I was going for with like the cute tie but yeah, this is um, going back. These are the first pair of joggers, so just the cuffed um, normal black joggers. And they're just, they're just nice. They're just like standard um, black joggers, but it feels nice to have a new pair because some of my, this is, putting these on has made me realise how shoddy some of my old ones are. So I'm glad I got these, but the top is a no from me. Outfit number three, is that what we're on? Um, this is the halter neck top, which is actually really cute. This isn't that long. It could be a bit tighter, um, but it's not like it's okay. I really like this neckline actually. I think it's really flattering. So that's got a yes from me and it's a nice length because it's cropped, but it's not like too cropped. So that's nice. These um, trousers are an absolute no. I think they are a little bit too small, I probably should have sized up. They're actually too short on me, and I don't know if that's because um, I should have got the next size up, but they're literally swinging around my ankles, and they are see-through. I don't know if you can tell, but you can li oh yeah, you can, you can literally see my pants. Um, yeah, not a vibe. This is the last outfit, and I'll just show you the last red top after. But, so, bear in mind I'd have a sports bra under this if I was wearing it for dance, but... I don't know how I feel about it. It's like, can you tell what material it is? It's like that shiny lycra situation. These are the wide leg trousers. In, I think these were petite. I think these are the flout flounts. Is that what they're called? They're not as see-through as the last pair, but they are definitely see-through, so they will be going back. But these are a nicer fit than the ribbed ones, so there's that but yeah I don't know how I feel about this top I feel like it's a bit just like not really a lot going on so I'm undecided on whether I want to keep this or not um do you see what I mean like here it's a bit meh so this is the top from H&M and I'm obsessed with it this is actually not how I wore it on Friday I managed to like twist the back so it was crossed at the back and at the front I don't know how I did that I don't know how I got in um but yeah, that's not how I wore it. <laughs> but I did kind of buy it with the intention of it being like an audition top, but I definitely could not dance in this. My boobs would be out. Um, but yeah, I just really love it. I think I prefer it crossed at the back though, so I need to figure out how I did that. So that is the end of the video. I think all I'm gonna send back is a couple pairs of the trousers the black top which was an absolute disaster <laughs> and potentially the red top not this one but the um like high neck one so we will see and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video let me know which was your favorite and which things you would keep and what you think i should send back that's it for now so if you enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up hit subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one bye